So, a bit about databases, the concept of databases, and data handling software. Databases are everywhere. It might be your shopping list, could be a social networking website like Facebook, which is a database of friends. Could be your calendar on your wall, might be that you access the eBay database to search for a product. Another example of a paper-based database might be the Yellow Pages. But you also get the Yellow Pages electronically on the internet as well. Now, a definition of a database is a persistent, organized store of data. These post-it notes are a store of data, but are they persistent? Well, we might not know what that means yet. Are they organized? Probably not. When we think about databases being organized, if we were to think of our shopping list, well, I tend to try and uh, write my shopping list in the order that I go around the supermarket. So it'd probably be um, fruit and veg first, then onto dairy, and as I work my way around the supermarket, I have an organized list so I can tick off that I've got everything that I need. Facebook is an organized store of data, but because it's electronic, it's probably more flexible than a paper store of data because you can filter friends, you can search for friends, you can group friends, and that can be done more efficiently with a computer than it could be done on paper. A calendar is organized in date order. eBay, another electronic database, would allow you to search for products, filter products, um, group products, etc., and again, efficiently because it's electronic. The Yellow Pages. Um, stores its data by business type alphabetically and then by business name alphabetically. But because it's electronic as well, we have more control over it on the internet where we can search for particular businesses, we can filter businesses, etc. efficiently. So some of the advantages of electronic databases over paper-based databases is that we can search faster for things and we can sort and filter things more quickly. There are other advantages of electronic databases over paper-based databases as well. We say that databases are persistent as well as being organized store of data and this refers to electronic databases only in that data is saved to a hard disk therefore it is persistent. It stays on the hard disk. Unlike if we were to store something temporarily on RAM, random access memory. Things like the storage of a value within a variable would only be temporary, whereas if it's saved to hard disk, it is persistent and it is permanent. When we think about the different data handling software that we can have, database software, you can store a database within a spreadsheet. So here is a database of superheroes um, stored in a spreadsheet, and we are able to do things like sort data using a spreadsheet like Excel. But for a database to be a true database, you'd want to use a specialist piece of database software, such as Microsoft Access. So we can see there's a screenshot of a database table in Microsoft Access. Microsoft also have a more business um, pitched product called SQL Server. And another very popular um, database system software is MySQL. Thinking about the life cycle of a database, first of all it needs to be created. And first of all we'd create a table which is also known as a file. So if we go and look at Microsoft Access, we'll see that this database has a table existing already. And if I double click on it, we can see the data inside it. If we wanted to create another one, or if we're creating that one in the first place, we'd go create and table. And if we look at the actual design of how we set it up, rather than the data itself, we go to the design view by right clicking on it and we can see this is where we set up our fields. Fields are also known as columns and they are one piece of data or information about a person or object such as surname or gender or date of birth. One of the fields in each database table needs to be what is known as the primary key. If we go back to the design view, 
we can use a little key on the ID field. And that's because the ID field is a primary key. And what a primary key means is that it's got to be different for every single person or object in your table. So we can't have two people with the same ID of number five, for example. Rows or records are the horizontal cuts of a database. So there is um, the row or record for this particular person. That is all of the pieces of information about that person or object. Once we created a database, we would use it. So we'd edit values in the database, and we could do that directly into the table. Or we could use what is called a database form, which is a nice way of viewing um, all of the records or all of the record of one particular person or object at once. And this is how people are used to working with data, where they can just see one person's data on the screen at once and you could change things in there and we can flick through records with the arrows at the bottom data in a database needs to be maintained so it needs to be kept up to date and we've got to make sure that whatever we put into the database is accurate there's a term called GIGO which is an acronym for garbage in garbage out if we put garbage into our database, when we come to run reports to see data within the database or search within the database, we get garbage out. So remember that term, GIGO, garbage in, garbage out. The garbage out part, or hopefully the good data out part, would happen when we interrogate the database. Interrogate means to search or to run queries in the database. So here we've got a query. If we go and check how we set it up we can add only certain fields from the table and then we set a criteria and the criteria for this one is to say that um, we want to see a list of students whose access issues don't equal none which means they do have an access issue so if we actually run it we should see that we've got four people with uh, access issues we've got one crutch user and three wheelchair user users so we've done what is called a query we have interrogated the database there um, we'd also see that you can turn that into what is called a report where we can uh, jazz up the text a bit and put a heading on there. That's a nicer, more professional way of viewing the data. Once a database um, use has been completed, um, after a certain number of years, the Data Protection Act would require that the database be destroyed.